am used to being the like the the youngest, but I don't know if I was my you know grandparents' favorite child. Oh, I was. I was totally you, their favorite. Were you the favorite? Oh, oh my gosh! In <laughs> fact, I think I was my cousin's parents' favorite also. Wow! <laughs> like so for me, mm -hmm. I just I just. They just loved everything I did. And <laughs> they would say you. to me, Look at you! We love you to the moon and back. <laughs> and everything oh. you do is such sunshine. Oh. And I mean, I, you know, they liked my cousins. But, <laughs> you know, in general, so yeah. I don't know if there's anything wrong with it. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I think that that can be a problem in families, okay? Hmm. Especially if you're the odd baby child out. Maybe you should work harder. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, when you're a parent, you have a style. You might have a style that might be totally different than your parents. That's right. right. Have grandparents, have they earned the right to play favorites? Or are they ruining the other not favorites child's <laughs> self-esteem? <laughs> well, we asked a frangelista in Charlotte, North Carolina, if their grandparents spoiled them. And here's what they had to say. Take a look. My grandmother um, ended up buying me an erector set for Christmas one year. Be and it was obviously not for me, it was for my brother, because I had absolutely no interest in erector sets or anything of the kind. No, I don't play favorites. I love all three of them just the same. Um, so there's no favorites. They're all my favorites. See? I don't know. I don't know. I don't I, know. What if we could just introduce one more child in that situation? <laughs> in that mix. <laughs> but we could hold some auditions and get a really good one. Uh, well, you know, I think my mother had favorites amongst her grandchildren. And I think, you know, my mother really? fa always favored the first child born. See? I, you know, I mean, as long as it's me, I'm totally okay with it. Mm. <laughs> that was you. It was me. <laughs> Joining us in the studio is Jill Simonian, author of The Fab Mom's Guide, How to Get Over the Bump and Bounce Back Fast After Baby. Welcome, Jill. Thank you, yeah. Jill. Is what? there wine in this? Yeah, girl. I, oh, you know what? We There's wish. some rule about that. <laughs> yes. We yes. ask every day. <laughs> every day. They never. Listen, <laughs> why do some grandparents favor one child over another? I think it's the firstborn thing. You think I so? I do, See? I do. And I was a firstborn, mm -hmm. and I do think it has to do with that whole, oh, this is the first grandchild, and oh, this is what yes. everyone's yes. talking about with grandchildren and babies and la 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 la. Mm -hmm. So it's not I, our mm -hmm. fault. Right. I, do, I, do, I think of that it's always primacy with people uh, versus recency. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. yeah. All the time, all mm -hmm. the time. You don't think it's just superiority? No. Okay, not at we're, all. We're, we're not agreed. No, we were just born at the right time. <laughs> That's all this is. Well, here's the deal. If I'm a parent and I see this going on with my children, mm -hmm. right? I right. see it. How do I approach my parents or my in-laws more importantly? Oh my God. It, okay, I've never experienced anything like this because mm -hmm. my parents would, you know, I were, love, 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 love my girls mm -hmm. equally. But I would say it, if it were my parents, I'd just bring it up straight up. Hey, okay, I'm close with you. We're close. Let's talk about this. This is not cool, blah, 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 blah. She's saying this. She's noticing this. You're feeling like, let's just break it down. Mm -hmm. With the in-laws, it gets sticky because yeah. then they're like, oh, she's attacking or she's yeah. cranky or she's acting like a fill-in-the-blank, whatever. I don't know. I got it. I think you got to put your spouse on the, yeah. on the case. Because to me, what I see, okay, it's one thing if grandma, you know, gets this one, gives this one kid an extra helping of food, right, yeah, for example. <laughs> That seems... More ice cream. Or more ice cream, right? What is it, World War II? What are you talking about? Like? Okay, but it's another thing, and I've seen, mm -hmm. this is going down in my family, where people, they, this one kid gets more inheritance. Oh, um, oh or so, yeah. Or this kid gets left the jewelry, ah, right? That, or this uh -huh. kid gets the this, where they're really showing, and I was just telling Angela about this, my favorite story, Little Women. Aunt Marge does not take <laughs> Joe. To Paris. That's right. She takes Amy. That's right. That's a problem. That Joe is, a is problem. not fun. Okay, jo Joe, Joe is, is not fun. Jo Joe is no. smart. She worked hard to Who go. Who do you want to go to Europe then with? I, Joe? Want, I want me to go to Europe. Yeah. Can someone please take me? <laughs> you uh, husband, to... anybody. Uh, um, no, but no, that's, you, uh, okay, I didn't think about that way because then as the kids get older, you're talking about family dynamics that can then affect the relationship with all of these kids mm -hmm. yes. when they're adults, with jealousy. Jealousies, resentment, mm -hmm. arguments, that's not cool. You do got to address it early on mm -hmm. then. That's what I was going to yeah. say, that I would say in our family, my, my um, obvious favorite, <laughs> favorite status, um, it, I think it did, as we got older, hurt my relationship with my cousins. Mm -hmm. Because I realized, because their parents seemed to favor me too, um, <laughs> that, that it, did, it just it did. And yeah. I don't think we were as close in part because of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it is a serious thing. Mm -hmm. It is. This is the thing. I hear a lot of people 
you tell people that you see this, but they don't believe you. Like mm -hmm. they don't believe, I, I, can, I know yeah. that if you'd said to my grandparents, you favor Angela, they would be like, that's not true. It's what everybody says. I love all the children equally. Yes. <laughs> and it's not true. It's a lie. It's a lie, right, Jen? Well, I think, I, I'm a big fan of writing everything down. Mm. Because as emotional as mm -hmm. we can get about some of these topics, mm -hmm. other people get emotional too. And if you're saying, okay, here's like the the evidence, like, I mean, not to be like weird and creepy about it, like writing it down, but if you write it down and say, okay, here you said this, you did this, you did this, like this is, I, hey, I'm noticing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Were you raised by lawyers? No. And okay, I, don't I know was, because I was like, yeah, that's exactly what I do. I was like, maybe it's a lawyer. No, I, no, no, I don't know. <laughs> Should you, like, so when, if your child comes to you and they say, mm -hmm. you know, grandma, grandpa doesn't like me as much, mm. right? Should you allow your child to go and confront that grandparent? See, that's what my kid would do without asking me. No, she wouldn't uh, my ask daughter, you. My daughter would be like, uh, excuse me, what's, what's up with well, this? Well, see, that's good because that shows she's confident. Mm -hmm. And how old is she? 12. Okay, so she's a little bit older. Mm -hmm. I would say if maybe, mm -hmm. if they're old enough, to know what they're saying and to mm -hmm. talk and have that kind of relationship, then why not? And mm -hmm. then why not maybe be there with them so that everyone has a conversation? But if it's a little kid, like, little kids get, I mean, they're, yeah. they sad. Yeah. Their yeah. feelings hurt. They, it's bigger than yeah. them. They don't, I don't know if I would send in the, Three-year-old, right. you know, like, like I don't know. That's squad. too heavy. It, it is a hit it's squad. It's an emotional hit that's squad. Too Just too like when there was a three-year-old being said. Mm -hmm. So we asked you, Frangelistas, if it was okay for grandparents to play favorites. Twenty-nine percent said yes. Seventy-one percent said no. Yeah. What do you think See? of those results? See, that's legit. What, didn't you? yeah? Mm -hmm. the, what, who said? One of you said the twenty-nine percent that said that is who? <laughs> yeah, that's the grandparents yeah. saying that. Yeah. That's the twenty-nine percent. Like yeah. Come on. Yes. Well, I think, you know, like I said, I think a lot of times people don't realize that they're showing favoritism, and they would say, "Oh, it's just it's a different kid, so you treat them differently." Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, by showering yeah. them with attention and love, unlike the other one. <laughs> right, right. It's not fair. It's I'm, not I'm, fair. Listen, firstborns, it's <laughs> not. Fair. It's not fair. We apologize. <laughs> what do we it's do? not our fault. Know what to do. Just work harder. Wear cuter outfits. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining thank us, Jill. Thank you, Jill. Meet time with Frangela.